As we continue to work with functions, we need to learn how to evaluate a function at an expression. When replacing a variable, we always use parentheses, just as in previous videos. What is inside of the function replaces the variables. In example one, we no longer just have a number, we have a, an expression with a variable and a number. But we do see that we're given a function with the variable x and we're supposed to find when x is equal to this. So let's rewrite our function. f of 8x squared is equal to the square root of 2 times what was supposed to go into parentheses plus 3 times again what was supposed to be put in parentheses the 8x squared is what's supposed to go in each one of these empty spaces. So simplifying the function f of 8x squared is equal to the square root of 16x squared plus 24x squared. We can simplify this further. Square root of 16x squared is 4x plus 24x squared. At this point we're done because there's nothing else we can do to simplify it further. If we look at example two, we're asked to put n minus three in for n. So the function p of n is equal to n squared minus two n plus five. I'm going to rewrite that as p of n minus three equal to, and wherever there was an n, I'm going to put parentheses. From here, I can substitute n minus three in where these parentheses were, and I'll be able to evaluate my function p of n minus three. So n minus three squared minus two times n minus three plus five. Foiling n minus three, I get n squared minus six n plus nine. Minus two n plus six plus five. Combining like terms, I get n squared minus eight n plus twenty. So the function p of n minus three is equal to n squared minus eight n plus twenty.